Hi there, my name is Melissa Casera. I'm a professional screenwriter and publicity strategist, and I help entrepreneurs to create obsessed fan bases for their work, leading to more sales, more signups, and more fan mail. So today I wanna to bring you a little bit of tough love. And my topic today is why you're networking the wrong way. Okay, so if you feel like you invest a lot of time and a lot of energy into networking and it's not paying off for you, I have a really simple question. Are you networking with your ideal clients or are you networking with your peers? Big difference. And I can tell you that I have fallen into this trap in the past of networking more with my peers than networking with my ideal clients. It's really common early on in business that we want our peer approval, right? It's also really common that when we get into a certain industry, we're often promoted to by professional associations or by peer mastermind groups, right? And people wanting us to join up. Now there's nothing wrong with networking with peers. It can be great to join masterminds. It can be great to be a part of associations. But if that is monopolizing all of your time and you're not spending the time actually networking with your ideal clients, that will bring no profits into your business. So what I want you to do is first check your time, right? Are you networking more with your peers than with your ideal clients? And if you find yourself in that bucket, then I have a really simple solution for you. I want you to get at least one of your ideal clients on the phone, okay, at least one. And I want you to ask them, where are they hanging out? Where are they going? What are they doing? What Facebook groups are they a part of? What are they reading, watching, listening to? What conferences do they attend? Really get all of that information. Pretend you're like a super spy, right? And you are sleuthing out all of this excellent information out of your ideal client as to where they're hanging out. And then what do you do? You go and hang out in those places. You attend those conferences, you join those Facebook groups. If they're listening to certain podcasts, you pitch yourself as a guest. I actually have a whole video on pitching yourself as a podcast guest, so you can check that out if that's not something you're familiar with. And then you'll be spending at least 75% of your time networking with your ideal clients, getting more clients in the door and making more profit. And then you can spend the rest of your leisurely time networking with your peers. So I hope that this has helped you today if you're finding that networking is just not working out for you. And before you go, I wanna tell you about a really cool gift that I made for you called the iHeart Batching Guide. This is my favorite productivity technique in my business, which helps me get absolutely everything done, particularly networking. You know, we can batch our time around networking, even though it's not as common to do so. But what I'll often do is I will block off an hour or two hours every day, or even sometimes every week if I'm really busy with other things. And I'll make sure that I'm sitting down, reaching out to my own ideal clients and doing this activity, asking them where they're hanging out, right? And then I'm spending the rest of my time going and hanging out in those spaces. So. Download that batching guide below and start infusing more networking with your ideal clients in your business and you'll definitely see way more profits. Thanks so much for watching.